Welcome to TLE FCS 7. Today we will tackle the week 8 the kitchen maths. We have the English and metric system. For English system, also known as the imperial system, a set of units used for measuring ingredients in cooking and baking. For English system of kitchen measurement, we have the volume. Other volume we have teaspoon, tablespoon, fluid ohms, cup, pin, quart, and gallon. Next to it, we have the ounce and pounds. Dry measure, we have the ounce and pounds, cup. Next, the metric system, also known as the international system of units, as a decimal V system of measurement used globally in most countries. First, we have the volume. Under volume, we have the milliliter and liter. For weight, the gram and kilogram. For length, millimeter, centimeter, and meter. These are the English to metric volume conversions. For measuring techniques, how to measure liquids. Place a liquid measuring cup on a level surface, have the measuring line at eye level to ensure the exact measurement. The right ingredients are powdered materials. Gently spoon the ingredients into the cup, piling high or filing the cup to overflowing, then level off with a metal spatula or a straight edge knife. Sugar. Sift granulated or refined sugar if lump. Spoon into the measuring cup and level off, and do not pack or top the sugar down. The brown sugar is packed firmly into the cup with the finger and turned even with the frame. Solid shortening. With a rubber spatula, pack into the cup run spatula through shortening to release air fill again and level off. Butter or margarine. Cut the desired amount when using a bar or stick of butter. Shredded cheese. Lightly place the shredded in a dry measuring cup until even with stream do not pack the cheese into the cup. Spices. To measure less than 1 4 teaspoon, use your finger or divide 1 4 teaspoon in half. Abbreviations used in measuring ingredients. These are the measurements and conversions. Conversions of temperature measurements we have the centigrade and the fahrenheit for weighted measure equivalent for approximate mass and measure and that's the end of our lesson for today thank you for watching don't forget to like and share subscribe and hit the bell button